come check out my crib. As you can see, it's very roomy. There's a plant going in here. Look at the actual tree. Sitka tree. <laughs> we should plant it on the boat. We should. Hi, my name is Kenna, and this is Jay. We live aboard our Choi Lee Offshore 41. Her name is Sitka. Currently, we are sailing and exploring our beautiful home here on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada. I'm new to sailing, but I'm learning and loving it more and more each day. Jay, on the other hand, was born a salty sailor. As he takes me under his wing to get ready to sail around the world, join us on our adventure of falling in love with the beauty of life and the wonders of each other. Welcome to the story of us, and welcome to Sailing Sitka. A nice foggy good morning to you all. Before we get cracking down on this project, we do have one quick stop at the laundromat. This is us um, doing laundry. And this is in between washing and drying. I do and faces. Jay being a coconut. <laughs> I hate laundry. This is how we entertain ourselves for the hour. Alright, enough of this. You guys know what laundry looks like. Let's get on to the project. <laughs> Perfect. Found one. And you can even put her washer in there. She's to So yeah, we'll have this forward, so this is going to be kind of an angle like that, and we'll want this to be probably... Let's see where we need it. Yeah, so we'll be able to pull straight up like that, and then the engine's going to go right there. Perfect. That's good. Every time we mount something on Sitka's deck, we always fabricate a raised platform that helps reduce the risk of leaks. Good fiberglass job. Got to start with Clean it all up. So I don't want to take my whole circle away.
applying a bit of a heat to our uh, epoxy mixed with 403 just so it's thick so we got acetone on top of the plate so the weight is like distributed equally and then yeah we're just gonna let that heat so it kicks it's 10 degrees out so it's fine but I'm gonna kick a little faster this way We always drill oversized holes and then fill them with thickened epoxy before re-drilling them the correct size. This way, if they ever leak, it won't compromise the deck corner. As you can see here, we got slightly distracted with cleaning and organizing the stern lazarette. But enough of this. Let's get back to the project. All right, so to measure the size of bolts, the length of bolts I need, I use these little sticks. And I basically go and touch the tape. Then I'll mark, right? So I already did the mark here. Just give me a little spare room. And then for a backing plate inside, I'll be using this old outboard mount that didn't work out. So I basically put the line, which was this guy here. So I'll go down and put it at the edge here, like you see here. Then I mark this edge. And then the plate here is about like an eighth of an inch. I added an eighth and then a safety margin. And that gave us two and a half inch. That's the length of bolts I need. Because it's always hard to eyeball that stuff. So I just use that little trick and then I'm usually it always worked so far, so hopefully it works this time. Picking this up, I'm just using some microfibers just to fill some holes. That shit's really volatile, like very small, so. Try to. This is my home for the next 20 minutes. And now I understand why Jay dates me. So I can fit in the tiniest little crevices of Sitka. A few weeks ago, Jay raised me up the mast for the first time. I installed and moused a new block for the spinnaker halyard that we are currently using to raise the dinghy on and off deck. This works so good. You see, it's easy. Once we finished installing the outboard so lift, we waited a couple days until our outboard harness arrived in the mail. Once it came in, we decided we had to test this baby out.
much easier. Is it easier in your back? After we finished our dinghy ride and the sun slowly creeped away, we became snackish for something sweet. What's in there? Deliciousness. Mm -hmm. No, it's my baby. See, then you don't have to find sound effects on YouTube. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. It's still steaming. Ooh, baby! <laughs> well, that is a wrap, you guys. I hope you enjoyed episode 5. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And while you're there, please let us know what you want to see more of. I would love any constructive criticism if you guys have it. Um, I'm willing to take that in and learn and better our channel so just let us know feel free and i hope you guys are enjoying it this far we will see you next friday cheers you guys